Spanish French ones buying one. Looks stunning. Absolutely stunning. Let's bang it down a few gears here. Oh, down flip is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. What does annoy me is when they don't lack of the stickers. This sounds brilliant. Just, oh, it just it sounds great. How did Kathy ever get these bikes to sound this good as standard? I have no idea. My personal opinion, I can't believe how comfortable this is. This felt as comfy as the V4, and that's the most comfy sports bike I've ever ridden. Yeah. Right guys, hope you're all okay. Join me at Ducati Cambridge with Cameron. Hello, how you doing? And we're gonna have a good old look over this beauty, the Panigale V2. Over to you, my man. Thank you. Um, yeah, introducing the all new V2. Um, what can I say? Um, very good hit ratio with these at the moment. Everyone who's ridden one's buying one. Looks stunning. Absolutely it stunning. It is. Um, taking the starting from the V4, so it's not going to be um, an ugly bike. I certainly think it's one of the prettiest sport bikes on the market at the moment. Mate, that's um, gorgeous. The obvious changes compared to the 959. Yes, um, for me personally, uh, picking up on it, the seating position. Um, so a thicker seat makes it a lot more comfortable. Brings it up about five millimeters, but the suspension angles are slightly different, making for more performance. Cool. Um, we've also got the LED headlights at the front. So anyone who's ridden a 959 at night will know what uh, the headlights are about there. Not the but, best. But with this, it's uh, yeah, lighting so bright, you'll see into the future with it. So uh, that's all good. The fairing is very similar looking to the V4. But it isn't the same as the V4, is Not it? Not the same panels. No. no. Um, bit, it's more of a narrow bike we worked out, didn't we? Slightly sleeker. It's been a bit of a diet in that sense. Um, but yeah, I mean, with, in respect to the style as well, single side swing on. That's the most important thing. This bike will sell by the bucket load compared to the 959 because 50% of people were put off the 959 from the exhaust pipe. I had a uh, 959 in 2017. And I, I loved it, but I hated the exhaust pipes, but I still loved it, it was a great bike. So this now, with the underslung pipe, how they've done it uh, with the Euro, is it Euro 5 now? Euro 5 right now. How, they, yeah. how they've done that with the Euro 5 regs, obviously there's a lot of uh, gubbins under there, huge cat. But it just makes the wheel look so much cleaner. And it just follows the line there of the tyre. Let's Ducati get it so right with the styling. So yeah, and the rear is obviously V4 based yes. and the light. Um, as we can see there, we've also fitted the uh, sports pack on this one. So this one, in, this bike in particular, does have the Ducati Performance Tail Tidy. Which isn't a normal tiny tail tidy, but it still is no, but it's got better, than the, the, trim, so it's it's better than the original thing that's on there. It exactly. probably comes to about there. Exactly that. Well, yeah. they've got, the number plate's got to go further than the rear wheel. Yeah, so. Mate, that, that, that is how it is. That explains that one. Right, so the TFT dash yes. is pretty much... So all new for the V2, um, featuring different riding modes as well. So you've got your street, you've got your sport, and you've got your race. As you can see there by going through the different modes, that is changing your traction control, ABS, your wheelie control, your engine braking control, also the amount of engine power. Um, new to the V2 as well, it's also bringing in the quick shifter. That's up and down with this model. A few things I didn't like on my bike were Exhaust. Yes. The uh, didn't have a down blipper. Yes. And the screen, there which obviously isn't wasn't like this. It was the old version, like something from the 1980s. It did the job, but now with that with that TFT screen, it's certainly ticking all the boxes in the 959. Sexy ass rear. Could have done with or should have been. I know, I know, but it, it was a, it was a great bike, but it just didn't sell a lot of the, to a lot of people because of the exhaust. But so now with that pipe and that. TFT screen and the styling is more aggressive, definitely. Yes. No question. No, look and at the lights, the... look, just. Yeah. You know, LED headlights, the in air intake with those headlights as well, that's, that's where the aggression comes from. It's a, yeah. It's a serious frown, shall we say. From, from so it's just, yeah, it isn't massively different, but it is different. Yeah. You know, the, the, the internals aren't that different. But the shock's a few mil longer, the rear shock. Yeah. Electronic sweep is pretty much. From the V4. So it's got the six axis electronics, and um, that's what's giving it such as things, the wheelie control and that kind of thing. 
Um, we've also got a five brake horsepower increase and okay. two new meters of torque. So, which on the road you probably won't notice, but it's better than having a it's you know a, a cutting power. It's yeah, it's always step forwards. The 959 certainly isn't the slouch because you know it, it's a performance motorcycle with performance <laughs> brand. That's what it's all about. It does make me laugh that this is still pretty much a thousand cc bike. Mm -hmm. That's the funny thing. Yes. When it, in, you know, back in the day, you know, 1000cc was a, the biggest sports bike you'd, you'd get. And now this is the, the BB Panigale, you know, compared to, but on the road, I think this could be. It's all you'll ever need more. Yeah. All you'll ever need I think, more. compare this to a standard V4, I'd probably have this. I don't know why you would buy a V4, but everyone likes different, some people want the, different the bragging the rights of having the, the V4. Exactly that. But I think exactly this could right. be a, you know, this could be the, the Boyo. Right, so the pipe yes. can be swapped for the... It can be swapped, so there is no Krapovich um, underbelly exhaust system. From what I've seen, like I said, all new bike, I haven't actually seen one on a bike yet, but from what I understand, it is the same system off the 959. Yeah. Um, from what I can tell as well, that includes the standard panels, so there's no need for the purchase of the lower fairings. But I can see that being a popular option. Is that a full system? Full system. Uh, you can just get the end can, but the price difference between the full system and the end can is not huge. So you might as well go full system if you're going to do it. It's never going to be cheap, but do you know what? Just it will sound just amazing. It sound amazing. Would it? Get a slight power increase as well. But I see that being a popular option. Other popular options. We've seen the single seat cow. Um, just always give it that V4 effect. Yeah, no one's going to sit on here unless they're completely mad. You'll be surprised. How comfortable does that feel? It, it, it is <laughs> comfy, but I don't want to go on the back of anyone who's riding that. I think I'd be a little bit scared. Oh, that's it. So yeah, you wouldn't do, when I had my 959, I changed the levers. These are actually performance Return foldable. Up. Yeah, levers. I had these on my 959. I had a carbon front mud guard. You can do that to this. Carbon heel guards. Uh, took off the rear foot pegs. I put a different towel tidy on mine. You can do things to it that don't cost a fortune. No, exactly. And it's uh, just under 15,000 pounds. Correct, yeah, 14,995. So, um, so I think it's actually quite good value for money. It I hasn't so. for the what, technology it's got. Yeah, exactly. With the just yeah, it is definitely up there. That's it. This is their demo, which I'm going to take out in a few minutes. Uh, the tires aren't scrubbed in yet. I have to be a bit careful. It's only done 99 miles. Yeah, I don't. I'll be very careful. Run her in. Be gentle. I am. I'll be very gentle <laughs> with her. I'll be very gentle. So yeah, guys, it's just it looks it looks amazing. It just such a different bike. I think compared to the 959 Absolutely. visually you know from a distance it could be a v4 so you know you if one goes by you yeah you yeah yeah it, it just it looks superb with a single-sided swing arm you know it just it just looks brilliant really really good the best thing for me to do is to get my gear on and go for a little run do. it's a bit chilly it's about six degrees it was icy in the shade about an hour ago but I'm hoping the roads are dried out a bit let's take it easy let's just not run in tires are new but this is just my first impressions just compared to my old 959 what it feels like what well, i said to cameron i will come back probably well could be a few weeks could be in a month's time and do part two of this video when it's dry and warmer yeah, warm night, and it's run in like and it's run in yeah and, and it'll be running service. someone else will be people will be test riding this and it'll get run in because i just thought i'd just come out we'll add a few a few hours spare come for a little ride out on this just to see how it feels yeah and come say hi to the guys brilliant right Cheers, buddy. I'll go and get my gear on. Lovely. Right, guys, this video, as I said earlier, is just my first impressions of this bike. Comparing it to my old 959 and how it feels on the road. And comparing it to the V4. For comfort, I can't ride this properly on these roads. There's, it's about two or three degrees. There's ice on the edge of the roads. It's just really, really slippery. I've got to be a little bit careful and the tyres aren't even scrubbed in but as I said I thought I'd just come out and take this for a little run around the block you know thanks to Cameron for just chatting about the bike a minute ago so I just wanted to see how this how this feels and already straight away it feels more comfortable than my 959 and I still don't know how they've done it I said that about the V4 I don't know if the bars are wider or I don't know I'll make your mind up. So yeah, it does feel more comfortable. You can slide your bum back more on the seat. I 
guys, yeah, you can't fault how this bike looks. It looks amazing. It looks way better than the 959. <laughs> the old the old exhaust on the 959 were just they just looked a bit bit rubbish really. Didn't affect how the bike rode, but they just they just weren't the best. So now this looks brilliant. You know, at a glance it now looks it looks like a uh, it looks like a V4. It looks absolutely brilliant. I'm trying to find somewhere where the roads are actually dry and not this horrible greasy muck. But it's not going to be easy, I'll do my best. And the bloody sun's super low, glaring off the bloody road. But I'll do my best to give this a little run. Oh, it feels good. And there's no way it's got the shove of the V4. You know, you open the V4 up and it just is ballistic. This is more of a usable bike on the road, especially these British roads that are potholed and choppy and horrible. This is probably a better all-round bike. I'm going to take it easy anyway with the revs because it's, it's not running yet. As you guys know, I'm always careful with uh, whatever bike I ride. So, initial impressions, comfortable. It does feel more like a V4 than my 959. I don't know why, it might be my imagination as I said, but it does feel comfortable. You know, I love the TFT screen on this. I think it's been taken from the Hypermotard, if I'm, if I'm right in saying that. I think that's right. It's not as big as the V4 dash. It's a smaller version. But to me, the TFT, the single-sided swing arm, the underslung exhaust, the styling, everything about it looks, looks superb. Uh, it's just uh, brilliant. Uh, 15 grand. Yeah, you could spend three grand and put an underslung a crap of itch pipe on it, but this sounds brilliant. Just, oh, just, <laughs> it sounds great. How did Ducati ever get these bikes to sound this good as standard? I have no idea. And with that tiny little pipe that they've got on it, I know it's got a huge cat underneath the hole of the bike probably, but and that's how they get away with it, but it doesn't matter because this sounds absolutely brilliant. Do you know what? The mirrors aren't as vibey as... Uh, as they were on my 959. I'm guessing these mirrors are pulled straight from the V4. I'm guessing, I'm not sure. Not 100% sure. Bloody hell, these roads are so greasy. And do you know what? Amazingly, the, the quick shifter and down blipper are super smooth. Normally when the bike's not at its running in service, they're really jerky and there's false neutrals and stuff, but I'm not giving it a handful, I'm just taking it easy, but it's already, it already feels smooth. Not probably V4 smooth, but pretty good. Shifter is superb, way better than the 959. Let's bang it down a few gears here. Ah, oh, down blip is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I'm obviously short shifting because it's not running. But uh, gearbox, I think the gearbox is the same. I think it's just the, uh, I don't know if it's the same quick shifter and down blipper as on the V4. It, it might be, I don't know. It just probably works differently on a bike that's uh, of a higher CC. But yeah, down to fifth, fourth, third. Uh, it's smooth. And it's only going to get smoother when it's had its running in service. That's the thing. It's absolutely brilliant already. It's only done uh, 100 miles. 
Right guys, I'm just going to stop up here, take a few pictures of the bike, have a little look around it, and head back to Jakarta. This will not be a long ride out on this. Revving it to about 6,000 RPM. Definitely quick enough. Even it up to 6,000 RPM. Just feels nice, feels comfortable. I don't know how they've done it compared to my 959. Definitely more comfortable. Going down through the gears, just feels smooth. Do you know I just realised? It goes into neutral straight away. The stand's impossible to find unless you know where it is. Ugh. Right. Oh no, it's covered in muck. It was clean when I took it out, but you can see the tyres, the rows are horrendous. Absolutely horrendous, but it, it looks brilliant. Look at it. A little compact weapon. Yeah, ain't got the most power of all the bikes around, but it doesn't matter. It looks brilliant. Love it. Really love it. If you're going to buy a sports bike and don't want stupid power, test ride this. Because I've got a bad back. I'm 48 years old. Uh, and I get normally a mild 959. I'd be in a right mess after about 10 minutes, but I've been this for 15, 20 minutes and I feel fine. It is pretty comfortable. Love it. Really love it. Right, take some pics and I'll get back on her. Right, I head back to Ducati now. This has only been a short run out. As you can see, the roads are drying out now, but they're covered in salt. The tyres are new. It's just not confidence inspiring. I'm not the best rider out there. I'm just a normal bloke. So I'm going to just take it easy. It's not my bike. It's not running yet. But I had a few hours to spare and I thought, well, come out for a ride. Just to give my first impressions. And do you know what? As I said earlier, super comfortable. Compared to my 959 somehow, it just feels better. Oh, I don't know if the tank's the same. I don't know. I don't know. And there's not much I can really fault about it. What does annoy me is when they don't lacquer the stickers. There's no lacquer on this tank. It will scratch really easily. That's the only real thing I'm looking at it that I can fault on it, really. Mirrors are a bit vibey, but they always are on these bikes. Always. Monster. Any of the Ducatis. Multistrada, all the same, pretty much, but yeah, and the stand's hard to find, but that's it, I, it's superb, absolutely superb, they put a performance part uh, tank uh, cap on there, petrol cap, looks good, and, and they've got foldable levers, as I said earlier, look, Ducati by Rizoma, they look nice, right guys, let's start her up, my fuel light came on a little while ago, but it's gone off again now, Take it about 6,000 RPM. As I said, the quick shifter, the down blipper is super smooth for a bike that's not even been running. It's done 100 miles, far better than usual. Uh, one thing I haven't mentioned is the, uh, is the suspension. It's actually pretty good on this bike. It's quite basic compared to, say, the V4S being electronic. And this isn't electronic, but do you know what? It, it's a nice ride. It's not. It's not firm, it's not soft, it's just right. Just right, feels feels good. You know, obviously you're paying 15,000 pounds, you're paying probably whatever, probably about 5,000 pounds, 6,000 pounds less than a V4S. And I don't think many people actually buy the standard V4, they all go for the S. And they probably, as Cameron was saying to me earlier, they probably won't make an S version of this. They make a course, version of this but they won't make anything else I don't think do you know what I've got to stop here I can't actually see if anything's coming because the bloody yeah, there was a car coming it's so bright now yeah, the boys are the 125s Right guys, any questions you've got on this bike, 
just ask me and I might be able to answer them because this isn't going to be a long ride I will come back in a well when the, when the weather's a bit warmer see the roads are drying out now but by the time they dry out it gets dark and they salt the roads again and they're greasy the salt and dirt just turns this horrible mucky anyone who rides a bike in the winter knows what I mean uh, on an adventure bike you're probably all right with different tyres but on, on something like this there's no way no way I want to ride this hard I'm gripping the tank with my knees quite a lot I haven't got I'm not pushing all the weight forward on my wrists but my 959 seems to push me more forward on my wrists whereas this doesn't this feels lighter I think the tank is the same as the 959 tank I think the V4 tank is wider than this and the whole front is wider on the V4 as well this isn't the same front fairing as the V4 I think the temperature the, the, the outside temperature is about about four degrees five degrees but actually with the with the fairing I don't actually feel that cold at all if my hands aren't cold so yeah I need to need to get this bike running so I can give it a little bit more and it is the power wise it will just feel the same as my 959 did I would have thought any more power than that on the road that's only me revving it to 6,000 see this hasn't really got a rival around this price range really I guess a basic CBR 1000 Fireblade is about the same price I think GSXR the basic version maybe I'm not sure but this is in a little bit of a class of its own it's a very polished product uh, down blipper it's pretty smooth so yes guys i'm in sport mode full power everything dialed up traction control wheelie control it feels it feels really small i think with the v4 having a bigger tank i think that makes it feel it is obviously a wider bike but when this is run in yeah you could really use the power of this you can give it a good thrashing and use the higher end of the rev range on the v4 I think if you notice a reef on the road, I think you'd either end up in a hedge or in prison because it's so fast. Anyone who's ridden a V4 will know exactly what I'm saying. They are just, I think they've just got so much power for the road. I think they're just they're bonkers. I don't know why you'd have one. Yeah, it's a bit of willy waving down the pub. Oh, I've got a V4S. It's got this much power, da 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 da. But end of the day, for road riding, especially in the UK where the roads are a bit shite, this is a perfect this is the perfect bike. Oh, yeah, what a brilliant little bike. I thought I was gonna get on it and feel really uncomfortable and ache and be sore like I did on my 959. But I don't no, absolutely I do not. Even though they're over crossing, the suspension doesn't feel too harsh at all. It does feel light and nimble. Obviously, I'm not giving it any round the corners because it's wary of the bloody greasy roads, but. Uh, brakes feel good. Same brakes as the old 959, I think. They might have tweaked them a little bit, but. Brakes feel fine. Can't really fault them. They're not in 50s, but obviously you're paying 15,000 pounds. You're not paying 20,000 pounds. So you're not getting the Stylema Brembos that you get on the V4. But these brakes are fine. I guess on a track, you might uh, notice them fading a bit more and not performing quite as well. But on the road, nah, they're fine. They're totally all right. I'm going to come back and ride this again in a few weeks' time. Ah. I think the Street Fighter demo is coming in March, so we've got to wait a little while for that. Probably another, uh, did I, about six or seven weeks. So looking forward to testing that out. It might be my next bike. If I love it as much as I hope I'm going to love it, then that probably will be maybe my next bike. I don't know. But then I love, for just blatting around, having a bit of fun, I love this. You know, this has made me rethink what bike I want to buy next. Because I love this little thing. 
It's brilliant. If you were following someone on a V4 down a back country road with not massively long straights, I bet you this would keep up with the V4. If the riders were the same ability, I bet you it would have no problem keeping up with it. 100%, I think this would be absolutely fine. It is just the perfect little bike. It's not little, it's a thousand cc pretty much. That's the funny thing. I keep thinking back to that, it's bonkers. But it doesn't matter. It's brilliant. You know, you don't need a 1300cc bloody mad thing. Yeah, the V4 is amazing, but I, I think, personally, I think it's got too much power for the road. It's nuts. You know, you, you find yourself changing gear at like 3000 RPM, because it's just so fast. Right, neutral. Oh, I missed it then. Yeah, neutral. Oh, that is a revelation. Oh my God. I can't believe that. It's done 100 miles, this bike, and I can already get into neutral straight away. Uh, the fuel lights just come on. Ah, uh, the most annoying thing on this bike, which does my head in, is it hasn't got a fuel gauge, same as the V4 and the Hyper Motard. It's not a big thing, it's not a deal breaker, but it does annoy me, this fancy bloody dash they've got. And there's no fuel gauge. That is the only real major gripe I have with this bike. The rest of the little things are nothing. But that is just so Italian, so Ducati that they just don't bother putting a fuel gauge on. I sort of get it with the sports bikes a little bit, but a hyper motard, why would you not give that a bloody uh, fuel gauge? It's not a sports bike. So that's the only major thing I can really compl complain about. Yeah, it's good I've come back. It's, it's, uh, I don't know what you've got mileage wise when the fuel light comes on. Doesn't say what you've got left in it. Trip. Yeah, but that. I think you get used to it not having a fuel gauge, but it's just a little bit, a little bit annoying. It's just a little bit Ducati. It's just, it's just how they are. Not a big deal. Right, guys. So any questions? Give us a shout. It's only a quick run out. First impressions, amazing. I, I pretty much can't fault it apart from the fuel gauge. Absolutely superb. So, if you're in the Cambridge area, as in in the UK, pop to see the guys, uh, the guys here. Come and see uh, Cameron. And they'll look after you. Right. Oh, neutral again, superb. Right, I'll get my gear off, I'm steamed up. I'll get Cameron out for another little chat and go from there. Right guys, back to Getty Cambridge with Cameron. Hello. And I must say, I'm not just saying this, because if I didn't like it, you know I would say if I didn't like it or not. I've ridden pretty much every Ducati there is going. And I absolutely love this bike. The only thing I could fault was it's got no fuel gauge, but we know that's a... It's got a fuel light though. Yeah, fuel which you did just come on, that is true, it has a fuel light. But that is the only little thing I can really fault. Vibe your mirrors are normal. Uh, stands hard to find, because it hasn't got a little knobby bit, but I know to put my foot behind the, the footrest there and flip it down from the back not get it from the front muscle memory of that one yeah I remember from my my <laughs> neither 959 so mate I honestly I loved it oh, brilliant. it how it's more comfortable mm -hmm. than my 959 I still don't know I'll we you. yeah go on you know because I don't um, know from what I understand um, the rear heights risen ever so slightly right um, and it's all it, I believe it's all coming from the seat because if you compare the seat with the 959 it's almost three times as thick so it's got it's and I don't feel like the weight's on my wrists as much and I was I was gripping the tank a bit. I'd, anyway, I it might just be me. Other people might ride it and say oh it feels the same as a 959. That's that's how, that, that's up to them, but for my personal opinion, I can't believe how comfortable this is. This felt as comfy as the V4. Yeah. And that's the most comfy sports bike I've ever ridden. Yeah. Which people think's bonkers, but it is for a sports bike it's comfortable. So guys, anyone in the market for this kind of bike a litre sports bike, around 15 grand. I was saying, the right rival wise, CB1000, GSXR, standard models, about that price. Probably. And so, but look at this. All right, 
you look at this and then you look at a fire blade or a, and i'm not being biased because i'm at ducati I, you know i just look look at that there's no question no. if you've got 15 grand and you want a you know a sports bike then this this is it for me i'm i'm blown away as in i think i might actually want one do it why not <laughs> I'll, 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 I'm going to ride the street. I'm going to ride the Street Fighter, which is more expensive, but yeah. and I think the power will be ridiculous with no screen. It'll be bonkers. But I'm going to ride the Street Fighter. But for value for money, even though this isn't cheap, I think this bike is absolutely brilliant. So yeah, watch this space, guys. But I will come back and have another chat to Cameron when it's running. Just six hundred twenty-two. Yeah, get them. Get it. Get the rope. You can see, guys. Look. Look at the back tire. That, that was that's just muck and salt. The rose was so dicey. You had a few little m moments on it. The traction control kicked in. It's just not worth riding it hard in this weather. It's pointless. But I've had a little run out on it, and now I'm in awe. <laughs> it's all your fault. Listen that well. I try. <laughs> but I, I'm, I think it's just it's just superb. Absolutely brilliant. It feels great. Yeah, you could after a while feel I want a bit more power, but I know for my 959, well, I've ridden it in Spain. Course, yeah. So, in Spain, my bike was amazing. That, that's, that's all you need. Exactly. You don't need any more power than that on the road. And people will argue that case with me in this video. I'm sure they will. But guys, go down to your local Ducati dealer, take one of these out, Panagale V2, and see what you think, because uh, I love it. Anyway, enough chit chat. Thanks, Cameron, my friend. Pleasure. Top man. Awesome. Absolutely. And guys, I'll see you in part two, which could be in a month or so when it warms up a little bit Just let us know. and we'll Always go here. got to demonstrate it here yeah guys anyone in the cambridge area in the uk come down and see cameron not many dealers have probably got a demo yet so uh, these guys obviously have so take it out but wait probably till it's a bit warmer <laughs> and not four degrees like when i just went out on it anyway all right guys take it easy and i'll see you next time cheers